Yeah. Uh, as I told you, I'm Satvik. I wear T-shirts. Uh, I didn't plan it such, but uh, my first poem's title is An Evening in an Iron Man T-shirt. Uh, I didn't really plan, and this is not the T-shirt I'm talking about. Of, of course, it's not about a T-shirt, but uh, you know, forget about it. Uh, I was lost whilst being where most wanted to be. I was found where I thought would lose myself. Bred in a world which only sees light and dark, failed to see the beauty of even time and mark. Always thought that magical fog would tamper my sight, but just realized it lets us appreciate the world's delight. Brightness isn't always the best we get. You use dark mode YouTube, I really bet. My Ironman t-shirt isn't all symmetrical, but emotions I bear is no less radical. Was worry a burn of real, uh, ruin its charm? Ah, we shouldn't call it a tragic flaw, but a divine flaw. For a man is flawed, and here is my edict. Duty is great, and grey is beauty. So this is one poem, and another one is quite long, but still I hope uh, you bear with me until the end. Uh, this is also a for t-shirts, uh, ode to an M size t-shirt, and as Winston said, it is not about t-shirts, it's whatever you want to be. So you, you understand it the way whatever you want to, you want to understand. Okay. O to an M size t-shirt, I wish my t-shirt could hear what I think. Because words fail when I attempt to speak. Most wouldn't like to see me with you because you are black. It's easier to assume you are all same as you look alike. My sheet is usually, usually customary, suits, ties, bow, now seems ordinary. The shining suits, uh, which suits my desired stature, polished black boots are truly a dasher. Ties, glossy blue one, diamond pattern, and one with a back bisect. Another golden tie gifted by a man I respect. The blue bow I owe on the on my lover, love lover's wedding. That particular set with black bow and suspenders. In three days, I start wearing these back. Those glassy shirts fill the charm I lack. If not for you, I would go back to them with enthusiasm. Now, your love makes me treat it with skepticism. Never have I ever thought that a simple t-shirt would make me question my decisions, but you understand my concerns, musings, intrigues with such precision. Your impression on my skin, heart and mind is so warm not to forget the immaculate comfort and tenderness you form. Image of Dr. Professor Hulk and Frodo are uh, proofed in your heart. Snape, Dragon, Deadpool, two are good art. Those lines on you, laugh hard, run fast, be kind, I believe should drive people like us or even mankind. I have been told that I shouldn't go behind t-shirts, instead try looking classy with L-sized shirts with a collar white or blue, but you make me feel good and be better man and have no boundaries like a divine. I know you are born in this world, shaped in this world, you will live, return to the world and needed by the world. Logic clearly states that I shouldn't ask you to be mine. Uh, yet, me selfish, uh, yet my selfish mind takes pride in claiming you my own. I'm scared. What if you don't fit me? What if you never do? What if you leave a burn mark which reminds me of a pain for long? Or worse, what if I bring air into your skin which make, which mocks my failure? Will I be able to forgive myself if I hurt your grandeur? 
thought the uh, door tormented by fear now i should jump and i know i can only when there is no security rope i can't repel the fantasy of embracing you dear great so i take courage to have this leap of faith i wish my teacher could hear what i think because this code hasn't transformed the feels to think never new teacher could make me be this walk has been like cycling in steep